You made it to another episode of the We Did That Shit podcast, hosted by Maya and Babi. Join them as they share experiences and opinions about who did some shit, what they learned from shit, and how they got through some shit. Cousins by chance, friends by choice. These two passion-driven personalities create addictive conversation. Are we ready? Yes. Maya? Okay. I'm here. Okay. In five, four, three, two. Hey, Maya. Hey. Long time no see. Hasn't it been? <laughs> oh, hey, what's up? Like with I don't even know you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, God damn, we still cousins? <laughs> <laughs> I have been... Uh, busy, I've clearly, busy. and I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I've been busy as well, and it just seems like we just could not couldn't get it together. Know, <laughs> this is crazy, we couldn't get it together. And you know, before we get started, we want to apologize because how you go from being on a break to coming back to being on a break, be on a break. <laughs> to not saying that you was gonna be on the break though, like it was just on some like, yeah, I can't, I can't do it today. I mean, but it really was like that. It wasn't like we weren't trying, and it really was. It just wasn't sinking. Yeah. I mean, but some of the conversations that we've had in the middle of the night, five minutes here, five minutes there, I wish it was recorded because <laughs> yeah, it's been I mean, good content. <laughs> it's been good content. It's always the conversations that we have offline that are the best conversations, and then you always get to that. Damn, we should have recorded that. But you yeah. know what that is. We're not social media babies. So right. we didn't grow up in the social media times where you're always on and you yes. always have your camera ready, your recording ready. You know, it's just like always something to record. Um, we didn't grow up like that. So because of that, it's like, you we don't think of it. Even though right. we are now content creators with the podcast, we still don't think about it. And after the fact, it's always like, man, that would have been good for the podcast. Ever since you told me, um, like that we're content creators, <laughs> I just really feel like, and now when I look at stuff, like if I'm on Facebook and I see a TikTok or something like that, I'm just like, I'm a content creator. <laughs> I just keep thinking that because in my mind, it was like, oh, yeah, I have a podcast. You know, me and my cousin, we do a podcast. Yeah, I have a podcast. We do podcasts, but content creator sounds like so much more responsibility. Like it, it sounds like a really big deal. <laughs> it does, and I think that it is. I mean, uh, being a content creator is probably a little bit more involved, but we do put out a podcast. It's our thoughts and opinions on things, you know, on topics that we speak about on world events, and so we it is content. We are creating it. And putting it out there, so hence content. Content, creation. I know it makes perfect sense. I just never thought of it that way, mm -hmm. like ever. So, what's up with you? Where you been? Oh, I've been around the world, and I, yeah, yeah, and I'm back again. <laughs> yeah, no. So since we've um, been on camera or even put out a podcast the last time, I went on a vacation. A what? Girls, oh, girls trip. trip. <laughs> you know about girl trips? I told you. Well, listen. She called me every day, y'all. She <laughs> called me every day. <laughs> let's 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 talk about it. Let's talk about the um girls trip. The funny thing is, is this: I always go on girls trips. We talked about it, it on the last show. Yes. I have been on girls trips with three people. I've been on girls trips with 20 people, you know, and each of those times have been different, but nothing that I could really say, I ain't doing this no damn more. <laughs> not, not, you know, everything has been kind of like, you know what, it was one or two people that got on my nerves, but you know me, like, and if y'all been listening to the show long enough, everything gets on my damn nerves. Exactly. So that 
is not really like because something could get on my nerves today and then something else tomorrow so that's not really a thing but this girl's trip so i went with my sister shout out to my sister because yes, always a good time. I, I just love my sister and <laughs> we have the best time together and my sister made a comment to me the other day and she was like i just be feeling like when i'm with you i'll be feeling like it's not only me that feels this way and i'm glad that it's her and i know that she gonna complain more than i complain so i mean <laughs> <laughs> that's the truth because she knows that i am but you know it's all in love but me and my sister great time and it was three other people on the trip mm -hmm. That's that sister, we had a great time <laughs> because that's my sister and regardless right. we're going to make sure that we have a great time i can't speak for the other people if they had a great time if i had to guess i would say no they probably could have had a better time um so we went to puerto rico i wasn't really like oh puerto rico i was kind of like uh Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. you know what I'm saying, and that's no shade to Puerto Rico, though. It's just not on my like top list of places to go, just because we've been there before, you know. And I feel like when you spend a day in Puerto Rico, it's all you really need. It's like, girl, I had a great time in Puerto Rico. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It wasn't a place that I thought that I wanted to go to for a long vacation, and I'm correct, but. Let me say this. I don't think that we experienced Puerto Rico in right. the way that we could have experienced Puerto Rico for it to be a good time. Right. Yeah. Right. So we get to the trip. We get there. Everything was looking good. It was looking on the up and up. You know how you get to a place, the baggage isn't, uh, I mean, the rooms aren't ready. You know, they hold your bag. Mm -hmm. You're like, let's hit the town. We hit the town. We went and got some, because I had to get me some rice and beans and some and some stewed chicken and some, right. uh, some stuff. Right. We did that. <laughs> Great. It was, you know, everybody's attitude was pleasant. It was like, I'm feeling in my gut, like this is going to be a good girl's trip. You know, the person, we went for a birthday. The person's mm -hmm. birthday it was, I've known since I was a kid. Um. So, you know, I don't have no it, we always have a good time. It's like, right. cool. Everything was going to be great. The other people gave off good energy. This is it. This is going to mm -hmm. be fun. We got our rooms. We got dressed. We go to this place. We think we walking into a five-star restaurant. Girl, it was like a speakeasy. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a damn speakeasy. It was dark. It was in like a that was spooky. <laughs> and when you walk down the steps, first of all, when you walked into the restaurant, it was down a hill. It was like it was like down a, it was like down a, a it was a city street, but it looked like it was like down a hill. Mm -hmm. So it was already kind of like dangerous. Then you walked in, the steps were so steep. That was one of the chief complaints on the um reviews mm -hmm. they were talking about the steep steps because it was kind of like if you weren't paying attention and it was dark i mean like a speakeasy you know when you walk into a speakeasy is i go all the time yes well you know you <laughs> ever been in a speakeasy i don't think so oh okay well like a speakeasy or like an after hours it's dark it's you know okay. it's after the fact so Would you trying to be incognito because you yeah. still open past the time okay. yes <laughs> yes you know you ain't supposed to be serving alcohol most times in the speakeasy you're okay. trying to be on the low low and the, and the lighting shows low low <laughs> it also speakeasies to me always remind me of one of them places where it's like we meet up at the joint we hit it off it's like you want to keep the party going and it's like That's yeah easy. then when the club lights come on the person is not kind of like what you thought it was mm -hmm. but like i'm feeling it so let's go to the after hours so when you get into the speakeasy it's dark and you just like yeah this is fun but then tomorrow when the person calls you and you or like you meet up with them and you see them you're like man this wasn't what i was expecting that's that's what a speakeasy reminds me of but anyway um it was real dark like that so like for real if you wasn't paying attention you could break your neck okay get in there 
it was a ramen uh, place, which I like ramen, so I'm cool with it. You know what I'm saying? Ramen is so I can't cool. get into paying like because there's some really, really upscale ramen places mm -hmm. near where I live, but Oodles and noodles cost 25 cents. <laughs> I just cannot get into paying that kind of money for oodles and noodles. I, I want to go to one of the places that it got has wonderful reviews, like all this extra stuff, but go ahead. I just cannot wrap my head around yeah. I oodles and noodles. That's exactly what it is. Oodles, and let me tell you, when I was a kid. My godmother used to make us ramen. Hello, I always tell her now and be like, "You could have had a five star damn restaurant." Exactly. She, did, she used to take oodles and noodles, uh, vegetables. She would put it in there when it was like good times. We would have shrimp in there, but most times you know you have like beef or chicken in it. it was like the sauce. And girl, she was doing it up, and I was and I was what ten. Yes. So I've been I've been out here just to let y'all know. <laughs> um, but no, so we went to the ramen place. It wasn't what we expected. Mm. I bring up the ramen place not to just tell about the trip, but also to tell about the customer service in the ramen place. Mm. Now you know when you go to a restaurant, it's a lot of times where you get things and you just do not like them. It's like nothing is enjoyable about it, and it's just like I can't eat this, I don't want this. So that's mm -hmm. what happened. I ordered something. You know, they recommended it. You know, always go with your first mind, people. Let that be a lesson in this podcast. Go with your first mind. Right. I didn't go with my first mind. I let the people recommend me something. When it came out, I didn't like it. It just had a, it, it was like um, a peanut base. Mm -hmm. And I don't mind that because I like peanut based dishes. But like it, you eat Thai food. That's a yeah. lot of food. And so, so like and you know, I enjoy Thai food. Uh, thai food. Yes. But it was like they took a can of Skippy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they and they put it in the pan and they put some soy sauce on it. And then the new oh, yeah, I'm the like, <laughs> Not oh, enjoy. And <laughs> so when I ate it, I was like, mm -mm, sweetie, I can't eat this. And she was like, Oh, I was I told you, you what do you have? An allergy? I said, No, I don't want a can of Skippy in my mouth. I'm I just mm. you know, and I like peanut butter. Right. Okay. You know what I mean? So the manager comes over and like stomps over though, like angry. And she was like, you don't like it? I said, no, nah, I'm being nice because it's vacation. Right. You know, I'm in a good mood. You know what I'm saying? We out here. This is the first day. We having a good time. I looked cute. Spruced it on up. You know okay. what I mean? Spruce it on up. She was like, you don't like it? And I said, no. And she was like, well we don't take it back. If you take it back you, and you order something else, you got to pay for it. I said, oh no, I'm not paying for it. And I don't want this. <laughs> and I'm not going to pay for another dish. That doesn't make logical exactly. sense. But I mean, whatever. So she was like, yeah, but we don't, We if you want something else, you're going to have to pay for it. And I said, no, I'm not though. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, I'm not going to pay for it. Um, and I ain't going to pay for this either. Right. So you could not bring something out, that's fine because I'll get something else. But I'm not gonna pay for this or thing. A, 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 like a taste of, and I'm not gonna pay for nothing else to come out. I don't even want nothing else to come out with the customer service up and around here. Right. So she proceeds to go on and on. Me and my sister is just looking at the lady like, stop while you're ahead, lady. Stop while you're ahead. <laughs> you know, we're having a good time, but this face. Can right. change in the blink of an eye. Then they brought me out something else. And I said, well, it wasn't no need for you to bring this out because I told you I'm not going to pay for it. Oh, she said, you don't have to pay for it. Mm. Oh. Okay. Did you, you know? Eat it? Oh, okay. I you know, I don't really write reviews. And right. I, really were, I mean, you know, I, I write them every now and again. But I definitely wrote a review about her. Mm. Like, you know why it's two people or no, it's four of us, five of us. So you know why it's five people in your business right at this moment and nobody else in this speakeasy is because of the customer service. Like take that as a lesson. You need to have better steps and right. lighter light and better customer service. So I ripped their ass as a new one in the dang on um, review because they deserved it. Mm. Keep going though. Keep going. We leave there. First night, you're tired. We, we, we get a couple drinks, we turn in. Next day, mm -mm. 
We didn't do nothing. <laughs> we didn't do nothing. And this is the reason why I'm so upset about the girls trip. Because one, I usually have a good time on girls trip. But two, you got to go with people who at least are fun, you know, or act like they're fun or our vacation fun or are upbeat even if you're not fun you you know you're pleasant not that they were unpleasant because they were they weren't i don't want to put that out there like they were unpleasant they just weren't fun like it was like no funness and me and my sister were trying to be like we were trying to be accommodating for the person whose birthday it was because it was like all right you know what you want to do you want to you you, you want to do something in particular? No. You want to go here? No. You want to laugh? No. That's, that Sorry. is what number one. I mean, we just had the episode. That was our last, yeah, I, and you know, I, I. This is all the things like I feel about how girls trips are, but, but they're not, one, and that's the reason why I didn't even want to get on this damn show and start telling you about it <laughs> because I don't. And I'm gonna let you finish, but I didn't want to get on this show and start telling you about the girls trip because I didn't want it to taint what a girls trip can be. You know what I'm saying? Like can it, be, it, yeah, can what it be. can be. And when we go on our trips. You know, and it might be like me, you, and another cousin or something like mm -hmm. that. That's a girl's trip, too. We don't not have a good time. And if we don't have a good time, you ain't having a good time with me. I'm just, you ain't a good time person. Because I'm a good time. Just as a FYI. Let the record show. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but to me, that is classic. I've never been anywhere. Or I don't have any money. Mm. And it was, and I don't want to be bothered with either one. You know, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> you are correct in that. And I'll know. say this once you reach a certain age, and we talked about this on the show, once you reach a certain age, you do get um, set in a certain type of way about yourself, right? Mm -hmm. But also, you're, if, you're used to certain things in your life, whether it be like the most luxurious things or the most, what's the word I'm looking for? Like trivial. Yeah. Trivial, whatever. Whatever. Right. Or like the lowest of the low, right. you know, and, and, and I don't want to say the lowest of the low people, but the lowest of the lowest expectations or things yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Um, and so it's, if you travel and you've been traveling for quite some time, then you're used to travel a certain type of way and you don't want to stare from that. And it's very hard to then bring somebody else into that travel situation that is not used to traveling like you or don't have the means that you have. And we talked about that last show too, because I said, I'm not, I don't want to travel with people who I, all, all people, are on the same mm -hmm. level but right. as far as your income or mm -hmm. what you can spend on right. vacation if it's not the same as me i probably don't want to go because right. i want to travel a certain way and again i don't travel in the luxury that i i, I really want to travel same. but i don't travel in the way of oh i can't do nothing i'm just happy to be right. here and when i can't enjoy the travel I, i'm just enjoying being in the place. No, I want to enjoy all aspects of it. And so that did put a damper on the trip because you can't do what I could do. You can't go where I could go. So now that limits me from going, but that's also because we wanted to be accommodating for because it was a birthday trip. If it was just like a regular trip and we was just like, hey, you want to go to the beach? And it was like, yeah. And then we, and then you didn't have it and we had it. Then we would be like, all right, deuces. We'll see you when we get back. But because it was a birthday trip, it was like, well, let's be accommodating to the birthday person, you know. But it just didn't go in the manner in which I thought it would go and so when we came back from the trip i mean there's so many things if you want me to go blow by blow i can but it's it, it's funny because when we came back from the trip my nephew said amaya did you have a good time 
And I said, yeah, I did. It's all right. He was like, I knew he wasn't going to have no good time. So I was like, why? He was like, mm, the standards. Because <laughs> my nephews think that I'm like, mm, this. My my nephews have this. I don't know. They might. They, they. I guess they think that I'm bougie or or whatever the case is, which is fine. I don't think I don't take it as a negative thing, you know. Um, but he was like, yeah, I just knew the standards weren't what you would want them to be. I was like, yeah, I was alright, you know. I don't want to make nobody feel bad. For all the people who are listening on an audible platform as in like not our youtube <laughs> i'm so glad because i really cannot control my facial expressions right now i just feel like um probably because i'm being nice and it's not even that you're being it's not be just because you're being nice but because i really understand and that is really the main reason that i don't like girls trip because girls trips because I'm going to tell you it regardless of like, you know, you and your sister you have a nice time and I think that's great and everything. But when I spend my money, I want a quality time for my money. It's just as simple as that. It's not like, oh, well, good thing my sister was there or it really been trash or whatever. Right. I don't want I don't, I don't want that. And, you know, I don't you know everybody is equal just like you said and and of course we don't travel the way we want to because we can't even you know afford sometimes the things that we desire to have yeah. um, but i am not going on a vacation to stay in a three-star hotel well we didn't you know, stay in a three-star hotel but i know what you mean i'm not saying you did but i'm i'm just saying like some people who travel on like budgets and stuff like that like that's what they can afford and which is fine because i i would say you know get out if you can go go yeah, you know, if you have to stay sure. in a three star hotel and and fly economy or basic economy or whatever, go. It, it's it's worth it for the experience. Yeah, for me, um, yeah, but no, it's yeah. your experience. Yeah, you know, it, it's your experience. I'm, I, you know, I've had that. I really never had it, but I'm just saying, like, I'm past that experience. Right, um, and that's the key word. Yeah. I'm past. That's the key word. I'm past that experience, and that's. I think that that's what it boils down to. When I sat back and I thought about it after the fact, that's what it was. I'm past yeah. this part in my travel experience life. You know, it's just like how when we outgrow something and you just feel right. like it's not that it's not bad and it's not that it's something that i once did you know but right. it, i've outgrown it or i'm past that and exactly. i think that being past things are fine you know it right. doesn't make the 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 experience bad it just makes it that i'm past that um right i know that you know what i will say is is that i made a decision before i went on the trip that i didn't want to do a bunch of stuff and i'll talk to you about that like i have a tendency sometimes to go on vacation and i'm doing everything exactly need a vacation from the vacation, the vacation right you know, and i said that i wanted this trip to be more relaxing for myself right. i wanted to you know like I, I messed my ankle up again and i you know that was bothering me so i wanted to just kind of like chill and i was very proud of myself on this trip because like we went out one day and was they were about to do like stuff. I, I don't know, visit old San Juan and the historical sites and the stand of dirt. And I had already did all of that right. type of thing. So I, w I got dressed. I went. I was like, all right, yeah, come on. We're going. We're doing this. When we got there, the energy in the whole, in the whole ride just felt off to me. It just mm -hmm. felt like I don't want to be a part of this. And when I got out, and I looked at the wall. I knew I couldn't be a part of that. And I was like, what the hell are you sticking around for and sitting and waiting for somebody to walk? And then you can't even do this. And I just I just turned around and I said, I'm going back. And my sister was like, what? Because, you know, well, I won't play that, like, letting you leave. Like, you know, go, right. You know, I don't. I right. like, mm -mm, I'm going with you. Even if I take right. my ass back, I'm going with you. So, but I was like, I don't want this. I, this is not what I want. And I'm not a people pleaser, but I am like a go along. Like, oh, right. y'all want to do that? Come on, let's just do it. You know, I was like, ah, I don't want to do this. I went back to the hotel. I put my bathing suit on. I went out to the pool, 
bread. I met a group of people that was wild from New York, you know, had shots with them, worth the people shots for the birthday. And, you know, the man and I brought his, him and his wife and, you know, and, and, and this other man was like, that was so classy. And I was like, I can buy the shop. And he was like, yeah, I said, you can't be coming up to nobody's damn husband. And right. Here, here go a shop for you, husband, that I never met. It's your birthday and without buying yes. a for shot. Like, you know, that don't even make sense. So, but I had a great time with them and I just had a great day. And so when the group came back, their energy was depleted. Right. And my energy was like, <laughs> and so I was like, yeah, I just made a, 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 a decision for my life. And that's what I wanted to do. And and <laughs> not a decision for my life, but yes, a decision for my life. Because, oh my goodness. No, seriously, a decision for my life because yeah. I made a, one, I made a choice to put me first. Now that's big because you know, I am definitely like, I want other people to be happy, even at the expense of my happiness. So yeah, it was like I said, mm -mm, it's all about me. And that was big. That was big for me. I'm well, you got a pretty tan. Thank you. Mm. I was very done that I was happy about. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like me. You know what I'm saying? All colors of blackness is fine. But I did want to get my melanin popping a little bit more. Um, it had been two years since I had been anywhere. I know. So I wanted to do that. But all in all, it was a good time with my sister. Right. Me and her, yes. Me and the rest of the group, never um, would I go again. You know what I'm saying? And that's just speaking. I would never go. It was one person, like she was cool, but I would never go again. But I'm still... Yes, for girls' trips. That's nice. We're going on a girls' trip soon, coming up. You know that, right? That's not a girls' trip. Yes, That's it is. Me, you, and our cousin, we're going. It's a girls' trip. Okay. It's family, but it's still a girls' trip. But we already know how it's going to be. It's us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's us. Yes. But other than my vacation, um, where have we been? I've been doing stuff with my life. I had a, like a busy couple of weeks. I mean, you have. I have been outside. Yes. I've had things to do um, and we just couldn't get our schedules, you know, to sync up, like I said. But I have been um, enjoying the summer. And that's not like enjoying the summer and it's like screw the damn podcast. It's just that things came up that were planned and then some things came up that were unplanned. Right. Um, and and we had a few above 95 degree days and I went to the beach and she had a nerve to say to me, so every time we get hot, you going to go to the beach? Uh, yes. <laughs> Yes, yes, I, yes, I am. <laughs> because I was just thinking, like, you what about if you two yeah. weeks of being hot? Like, so we ain't just gonna do podcasts. Me and Big Baby, we out. That's Me and Big Baby, far though, we like you could just out. be out the whole. You went on vacation. You came back. You had a whole nother little mini vacation. Myself, I'm talking about myself, yes. and did all of these things. And then as soon as you went something i'm like so are you going somewhere <laughs> <laughs> well in my defense i'll say this my stuff was planned for quite some time it was it was things that were planned i have some things coming up that are planned that have been in the works um before it even got warm outside and the stuff just came around and it just came around very quickly you know, mm -hmm. um, also last week, I mean, last month was, you know, the anniversary of my father's passing. So during that time, it's, it's a hard time, you know, I'm not in the mood. And, and one of those days I was telling Baby like, I'm not going to give, I'm not going, I'm not going to give, give my all. I'm down, you know, and uh, I have nothing, you know, and to me, even if you come on the podcast and we talk about serious topics, like all the things that's going on in the world now and just things that's going on in our life, you still want to 
you know, something. give something. And I had nothing to give. Like, it wouldn't have been jovial at all. It was just like, no, nah, let's not even do it. Yes. And as par for my life, everything that happened to me was, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Well, what's been going on? I yeah. mean, like, a lot of things. So I have, you know, all my projects. And I settled on one project. And it's, um, so it's a three-year project. And I'm very happy about it. We have to talk about that, too, because the hours that I have to work on the project coincides with our normal recording hours. So we have to try to do something else. Um, but I'm happy about the project. I'm happy. I'm comfortable. I can totally do it. When that is over, it'll hopefully open up another opportunity in the way that I want to go. Okay. And um, at first, I didn't see that. Um, so sometimes it's really important to um, try things. And mm -hmm. that's kind of what I've been doing. I've been trying a lot of things. And then a lot of things have been trying me. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so um you know i'm still trying to settle this case um mm -hmm. so this will be like my second federal case in the bag i'm really excited about that um me too i'm excited too because Um, so I'm, I'm, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to bringing that to the podcast. I mean, of course I can't do it until it's completely over, mm -hmm. but it was, it was really a, we did that shit experience mm -hmm. and something that, you know, I would love to empower people to you know, always stand. There's always a way there's mm -hmm. always a recourse. Um, and it may not work the first time, you know, you go this route, it doesn't work. You go that route, it doesn't work. And sometimes you really do feel like you've exhausted all possibilities. Um, mm -hmm. But I just encourage people to uh, keep going to, you know, to take a stand. And if you take a stand, because something is, is just about principle. Mm -hmm. It's just about principle. And I think we live in a microwave society. Everybody wants it now, now, now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this has gone on for a few years. But to me, it's very important to see it out um, mm -hmm. to the end. And um, and I'm going to be honest. I don't like all the results. Right. I don't like all the results. But the principle is what was important to me. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so I have that going on and then I have, um, now I'm all in fighting, um, mortgage companies and <laughs> stuff like that. And writing to the department of banking and insurance because of other things. Um, mm -hmm. so, and, and those things, like I'm getting better because, you know, I told people in the podcast that I'm very, very bad at opening mail. It's just like, what do you want from me? Every month you send this bill. Why? I know I have to pay it. Leave me alone. Uh, you know, I, I pay my bills a certain way anyway, automatically. It doesn't, you know. So I used to open mail, key phrase, used to, because I'm getting much better. Um, so I used to open mail like when I got a break, you know, every three, six months or whatever. And sometimes Do you don't hear what she's saying. <laughs> That just sounds so ridiculous to me. What is ridiculous is the amount of junk that comes in the mail. It ought to be a crime. It, no, but it's in, in between, here's the thing, you know, it's like it's like that saying, uh, treasure to trash or trash to treasure, you know, that saying, in the trash, there's yes. some treasure. And so in that junk, there's some importance in, in there. Listen. So if I happen to like, as I'm putting the mail in a pile, <laughs> if I happen to see something <laughs> from um, the bank, the mortgage company, you know, something like that, that I'm not expecting, I might take a look mm -hmm. to see what it is. Mm -hmm. And nine times out of 10, it's not important. You know, now I didn't waste that good look. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just tossed it all in the basket. Anyway, I'm getting better at that. I am checking my accounts, you know, more than once a week. I am opening the mail more than once a week. 
Mm-hmm. You know, like sometimes it's once a week, sometimes it's twice a week, sometimes it's three times a week. You know, I'm just getting better. Mm-hmm. But this thing right here with this mortgage company, oh, they got me all the way twisted. Like all yeah, the way really. twisted. All the way. So now here we go again. Another fight. I'm going to win this one too. Because again, it's about principle. You just can't do whatever you want. You know what I mean? You just cannot do whatever you want. And I don't know who is going to come out on the bottom here. It's not going to be me. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm game. I can read and write and do arithmetic. And you write. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like these people are crazy. So yeah. I mean, I've just been like on phones and you know, but because people still aren't back to work because of COVID, a lot of holding and stuff like that while trying to get my projects done because I still have to earn a living. Mm-hmm. Um, and just, you know, keeping it all together. I'm really in a space of uh, growth right now. I'm just really in a Me space of, of growth. Um, it, it's just sometimes I'm surprised myself the way I'm, you know, processing things and thinking about things. And I'm like, oh, okay. But, um, you know, in six very short months, a little less than six short months, I'm having a milestone birthday. Um, You know, I'll be 25 again. And I just feel like I feel I know I'm going to feel celebratory as the time gets closer. Mm -hmm. But right now, I feel like honor okay you know i feel i feel i'm just looking back and um the people who have i've known over the years you know family and non-family uh my village you know i'm just like i i want to find a way to honor them Hmm. you know i'm not a millionaire you know i can't buy everybody a house and a bugatti but I want to let them know Mm -hmm. and other people that these people had such a profound effect on my life. And I mean, I'm not perfect, but I, I have a good life. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a good life. Um, And I feel like I've achieved some things. Of course I want to do more. Um, But I just am, I'm in a place of growth and honor. That's just where I am. Which I think is a is a is a great place to be in, especially the growth part. We always want to keep growing. Yes. Um, and so I, I'm 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 glad for you, you know, you. because it's a great space to be in, you know. And I think that getting out of our own head, and I'm speaking to myself more so with this, but getting out of our own head and being like, oh, I'm not where I want to be, you know, being grateful for where you are and the things that you do have and the things that you have achieved and the things that you keep pushing to do um, daily, you know, right. and knowing that life is ever changing, you know, it really right. is. It When you're younger, I just feel like you're like, no, this is the way life is. It's like this. Right. This. right. And then when you, when you start living life, <laughs> but also when you just start growing, yes, you start getting older and you realize, like, no, life ain't like this. Exactly. It's like this up and down, yes. and yes. you know. And you're not. It's not. It's not black and white. It's not cut and dry. So you know, you always have to keep pushing and striving and and growing. Um, and so I think that that's a great place to be. And then, as far as the honor is concerned, you're welcome. Um, <laughs> You are, you, are. <laughs> you are welcome. But also, you know, not even thinking in the sense of um, like, oh, you have to do something. You know, I think that yeah. expressing to people where you are, um, letting them know the impact that they had in your life, just letting them know, you know, sometimes all it takes is just to let people know that they did make a difference. You know, even if it's a small one or a big one, um, we get caught up. And this is just not for you. I think this is just for people. You get caught up in what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? You're doing enough just by one being you, but two, um, letting people know that you are appreciative of them pouring into your life and then you too pouring into their life. Um, So that's why I'm saying you're welcome because um, 
man, I know how much I have poured into you, but more <laughs> so, <laughs> but no, more so what you have uh, poured into me. But it's also just important to 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 what is the word that I'm looking for? To know and focus on where you are, you know, and be happy yeah. in that and to be happy in that moment and be happy in that and that honor that is doing the honoring. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm, I'm happy for you and where you're going. I'm happy for both of us because yes. I'm going to tell you, we have grown. And for us, ain't been no <laughs> No, we have, <laughs> we have grown. Like, we have yes. grown. Yes. Um, and, um, yeah, I'm happy for us and where, and where we're going. Just like what I was saying about the vacation, just making a decision like, no, nah, I want to do that. I'm going to go and right. I'm going to do this, you know. Um I say it all the time, um, and I try to encourage my nieces and nephews because you know I got a lot of them. Mm-hmm. And um, but life is about choices. Mm-hmm. People who make better choices live better lives, mm-hmm. and it's just as simple as that. Um, you know, and again, we live in a microwave society. Everything mm-hmm. is not going to happen like that. And then you get, and every time you think you've done better, like it's easy to make the right choice. Well, it's not always easy to make the right choice, but Mm -hmm. when one choice is not good and one is good, you know, it's easier to be like, okay, it's very clear. That's not the right choice, you know, but what about when you have two very good choices, Mm -hmm. you know, two very good choices, neither of them are illegal. (laughs) <laughs> we're gonna you know yield some kind of result toward the goal that you want you know how do you make good choices then and i think that's where i am now that's where the growth really starts mm-hmm. um starting to analyze and and project you know what could happen with this and you know considering time so it's not you can't think of every possible thing that can happen with either choice but you have to be honest with yourself and that's mm-hmm. a part of the growth mm-hmm. put away fear mm-hmm. because fear is is the trick of the enemy it's mm-hmm. just something at the root of it if it's a fear thing then choose that because if you have faith you know faith and fear don't mix they're not the same you know they don't go together you can't mm-hmm. have one and the other so i have more faith than fear so mm-hmm. I'm, if fear is at the root of it i'm going to go with that mm-hmm you know, because I know I'm going to be taken care of. So just the whole process and the realization of what is happening, I'm like, look at you, girl. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. The okay. realization. That was the key word. Yes. The realization of what is happening is like, yeah. yeah. And I think a lot of times we don't live in the realization. We don't live in yeah. that. We don't live in that space. Um yeah, because recently with me, I had to have a realization moment, a real moment with myself. Like, you do realize <laughs> the realization of this is that yes, this could happen. Um, and um, yeah, so that was powerful. Oh, it almost left me with no words, and that's not like that. That's that doesn't happen often. I always got something to say about something, but no, I'm, I'm glad that you're in that space. So, and I'm glad that that's what you've been doing with our time off. So, you know, we can come back on this podcast and say, we haven't been around, but it's for good reason. Yes. You know, it's we not literally good. live. We literally live. Oh, we did that shit. Like, yeah, <laughs> honey. Uh, we yeah. literally live it. We do every all, day. All the time. Yes. Every day, it's always something happening that you can be like, at the end of it, you can look back and you can say, we did that shit. We did that shit. Exactly. The name just is so befitting. uh, You know what I mean? It's so befitting of what it is that we do and uh, will continue to do. So you are correct. And I will be honest and say, like, sometimes I have, um, you know, sometimes I could, I have some time and I maybe could have put something out. But I really don't like recording the the podcast without you. I, re- I really don't. And I was going to say, I, I, you know, I just want to make an announcement. It was supposed to be, some, 
it, you know, I knew I was going on vacation. I, and there was right. supposed to be some things that was being done, and then it wasn't. And I was like, well, I mean, it is. What but it I is. thought about it. I, I really don't. And I think that, um, you know, I can't imagine being on this journey, you know, with anybody other than you. I, I just think that this is us. It yeah. belongs to us. It's not mine. It's not yours. It's ours. It's, And I, I just don't feel right if it's not us you know what i mean like if somebody invites me somewhere okay if somebody invites you somewhere okay but this is us yeah and and i think that um i look forward to this time even though we talk all the time you know? <laughs> right i just look forward to that and i was like i made a car i said oh she gonna be so mad but I was, I was I like, want to. <laughs> I just, like, I just, what? To. I, just yeah. I just literally didn't want to. I was like, no, it's up. <laughs> and especially like the topic that I wanted to talk about, I was like, it's no way I can do that without her. Like, you know. No, that was going so, to be a good topic. Well, and I, I made a decision. Yeah, I, I, that was going to be a good topic. And I think that that is going to be a great topic for everybody to hear. Yes. Just get both of our opinions yes. on uh, the topic. And I, I think that'll be our next show. Um, but I know I appreciate it. I, I agree. You know, I just didn't want to leave the people without With anything. Nothing, yes. I but agree. I think that what we should do and what we will do uh, moving forward is just make it make you know, an announcement like, hey, we're not going to be here for the next couple of weeks or whatever the case is, because I don't want the momentum to go away. And then also, you know, like there are some people, it might be this many people, but there's some people out there that sense, and look yes. forward to um, hearing what we have to say. Yes. And they tune into the podcast weekly and we thank them. And uh, so when it's not the podcast, and I can relate because the podcast that I listen to other than hours i'm always like they ain't put out of the yes, this week. right like i need i need you know like i got a little routine part, I, mean, right, yes, right, and right. I know they're gonna take my walk right. so i can listen to this you know right. and so um i get it but you know we're back and we're going to try to keep our schedule consistent like we always put our episode on monday and we're going to try to keep our uh schedule and if we can't then we'll try to let you know that too exactly. but before we wrap it up and get on out of here uh got any personal journals for this week well that was my personal journal oh, you know, okay. it's, the whole I mean, thing is personal it is because that's really what it was it's about um growth and honor yeah okay. i love it that was a good personal journal and i'm glad that you let us know throughout the whole episode and i i'm looking forward to where this is going the uh, i'm and i'm happy to be on the journey with you um as always so we going to keep growing child we, we gonna keep going to growing that's growing. right <laughs> we're going to wear up from here we're going to wear up from here um i would say that my personal journal this week and like I said, all my personal journals are like recurring through life, uh, through the life that I want to live. My journal this week would be refocus. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just refocusing things, you know, uh, we get so caught up with life, right. uh, get caught up with, you know, things that you got to do, vacations, work, um, whatever. And you lose your focus sometimes. Um, and so I'm just trying to refocus. Um, I had some issues going on, you know, with my blood pressure. Yes. You know, it had been elevated and I never had blood pressure problems. So anytime, it, I don't know if y'all could tell this or not, um, in the podcast, but the B knows I am a stressful person. I'm a stressed out person. So you know, maybe y'all heard that before. Maybe maybe y'all could tell a little bit that I'm like a little stressed out from time to time. Um, <laughs> and um, so when I felt that I was having like some blood pressure issues, you know, it had me all stressed out, like which doesn't help the blood pressure. Blood pressure. You know? <laughs> uh, <laughs> And it was funny. So I was out. I was at a, a wine fest and I was out. Well, I did the wine fest and then the next day did like a, a resort, a beach resort or what have you. It was the Memorial Day weekend. This is out celebrating 
Uh, and I wasn't feeling my absolute best at those places. You know what I'm saying? I didn't feel like I looked my best. I didn't feel my best physically. I was not feeling good. I just wasn't feeling whatever. When I came home, I had like a waiting to exhale moment in my kitchen. Like seriously, mm -hmm. you know, the moment when Angela Bassett was pulling out his clothes and he was like, get your shit, get your right. shit, and get right. out. I took everything in my pantry that was not supposed to be there any snacks that I had in there, any kind of bad food down to crackers. No, I don't care what it was, right. Chicken, cereals, anything took stuff out of my freezer. That wasn't supposed to be there out of my refrigerator. That wasn't supposed to be there. My cabinets in, 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 it was very wasteful in the sense of somebody could have been enjoying that food. However, I paid for it. I wanted it out of my house. So it's out. And it didn't go to a food bank, you know, and then for the future, I hope that this doesn't happen again. But if it does, I'll take it to a food bank because I know uh, the B is like, you ain't take that food to nobody that could have used it. No. I am cringing. Yes, that's terrible. I, I wanted it out of my house. I say oh, I get it. Day, yeah. It got out. And I made a decision that day when I took it out. You got to refocus and get yourself back together. You know, mm -hmm. um, because this is not a vanity thing anymore. This uh, gaining weight or not feeling good or not being physical. Right. You know, it's, it's not a vanity thing anymore. Okay. It's now turning into a health thing. Mm -hmm. And I can't have no health issues. Right. Like in this, that's going to break me down. I'm too many people depend on me. I depend on me. Um, I've seen that all my life with my mother being sick, you know, literally all my life. And that's not the life that I want for myself. And I don't have a me in my life. You know right. what I mean? I have a lot of people in my life. My village is very strong, but I don't have a me like I was to my mother. You know right. what I'm saying? So, you no, know, get yourself together because you got to take care of yourself for the long haul. So that's now what I'm doing. I, you know, I have been walking and doing my exercising making a conscious decision about what i'm eating i'm just trying to be back on my you know like get it together yeah. and it, it's not based off of a vanity thing you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying so i i because of that i just feel like all right i'm going into the right direction so i'm refocusing those things i'm refocusing some things will work um i'm getting the I'm not getting a promotion, but I'm getting some responsibilities added on to my position. Um, Let me get five dollars. <laughs> which is which is which is fine because I'm happy that my boss is entrusting me with those mm -hmm. things. Um, so I got to refocus as far as work is concerned because I'm just going to have some more things to do, you know, and I'm going to have to be a little bit more focused period <laughs> so that's what my personal journal is it's just like refocusing realigning um you know just just like you said growth and right growing and just trying to um do something different to get different results right yeah but that's, that's what we can do yeah that's where i'm at and that's what's going on Wonderful. I had to yeah. laugh because my house phone is ringing and it's like, who has a house phone? <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> I still have like the three for three, the bun, <sighs> the internet phone and, and cable. And it's like, so your phone is really going to be ringing? Who is, it's like nobody's calling you. But anyway, um, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get on out of here for this week. <laughs> you got anything else? I don't. Be great this week, fake, uh, podcast family. Just be great. Yep. Um, you know, we're into the summer. A lot of restrictions have been lowered. So please continue to be safe, but have fun. Mm -hmm. Have fun. I know I am. She obviously is because she's going to be at the beach every hot day. And I plan to have fun day. as well. But remember that we do drop a new episode <laughs> every Monday. Um, follow us anywhere that you can uh, follow a podcast. You know, we're on all Audible sites. 
anywhere that you can listen to a podcast, follow us on social media. We're at We Did That Shit, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Always remember, you can follow me on my personal Twitter. It's my my 13 That's M-Y-M-Y-1-3. And I'm at the Biamina. That's B-I-B-B-I-A-M-I-N-A. Yep. We just wanted to drop a little something and we'll be back to our regularly scheduled program next week. Remember, be great this week. Do that shit. I love you, Maya. Love you too. It's always the smile at the end. <laughs> <laughs>